Good morning. I am sitting on my back patio and I was thinking Mm -hmm. about your perfect people. I was thinking about creating a brand that you love, one that sustains the desires that you have for your life and business. And I thought I'll hop on for just a moment and talk about Your Perfect People. Uh, Your Perfect People is actually a strategy that I teach my clients because you want to move from the phase of chasing clients, uh, chasing team members for your business to attracting them. And I want to share four things this morning that are super important when you're wanting to attract your perfect people, when you're wanting to attract premium clients into your business. Um, Before we get started, for those of you who hop on with me, I am actually live. Um, And those of you that will catch me on the replay, how are you? I hope that all is well for you on this morning. Uh, Second, piece of house business. Our strategic leadership growth retreat is in a few days. I'm super excited in Asheville, North Carolina. So many have been on the fence about making this destiny decision. And one of the things that I realize is As we are growing and evolving in our business, we begin to get more clear about what it is that we really desire to build. So normally we start out in our business and we just want to get coins. But at some point you want to create a business and a lifestyle that you really love, like that you enjoy doing, that produces the profit and revenue that aligns with the desires of your heart. And I was thinking about a a class I taught about mm, eight years ago. And one of the things I remembered on this morning when I was sitting here thinking about coming on to share with you all was... Uh, something that I mentioned during that class. I actually did that class uh, when I owned a brick and mortar business. My videographer put it on YouTube. I didn't have a YouTube account. It probably has about 37,000 views on that video. And some of the events that happened prior to that video really changed my the trajectory of my business and my life. <clears throat> so it is one of the things that enhanced um, the change and the transition and the evolution of what is actually transpiring for me now, moving from a service-based business owner to consulting with business owners uh, like yourself and women entrepreneurs. And one of the things I mentioned in it was a spirit of excellence. So I'm going to share four things this morning for those of you who are looking to attract premium clients into your business and your perfect people. And a spirit of excellence is one of them. So remind me to come back to that. But again, for those of you sitting on the fence about the strategic leadership growth retreat, if you are looking to really grow a quality business and attract premium clients, you yourself have to be in spaces that allow you to increase your value. Because one of the biggest ways to attract your perfect people or premium clients is to offer extreme value. So what I do when I'm working with my clients is I help to find the space that they're good at. And then I help them see the necessity of um, becoming an expert or mastering specific things in their business and then positioning themselves in front of the people who will see and understand that value. Um, So for those of you, you are earning revenue. You're just ready to earn more revenue and get to your next level. That is done by you creating more value in the marketplace. I will not stop sharing the word value. Uh, Years ago, 
uh, I watched uh, Miles Monroe for years. I still watch uh, his trainings, although he he's passed. And one of the things that stood out for me, this has been over 10 years ago, was how much he talked about value. So many are looking to um, get new customers, uh, up level their business, grow their business to the next level. And all of it will be based on your value. And when I heard that years ago, I made an intentional decision to continue and to be really intentional about operating from a spirit of excellence and focusing on becoming better. So many of us want our businesses and our lives to grow, but it grows because we become better. We become better uh, uh, at delivering the services that we offer. We become better leaders. We attract uh, better people into our lives and into our businesses. Good morning. I see you guys joining, but I can't see who it is. Say hello in the comments. Um, if you're new to the broadcast, let me know who you are, where you rock out at, and and how you serve in the marketplace. I'm sharing four things this morning. I'm out on my patio that help you to attract your perfect people. Oh, the link. I didn't give you guys a link that's been sitting on the fence about the Morning Sojo Leadership Retreat in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com. Um, your destiny will always require you to make decisions that move you outside Oklahoma in the house. I can't wait to see you, uh, Sojo. And I do not take it lightly, guys. I have people coming from Oklahoma, um, Alabama, Atlanta, New York, um, Maryland, uh, North Carolina, uh, so many different states. And I do not take it lightly at all that they have um, invested their time, their energy, their resources, uh, changed their schedules to be in the space and the atmosphere I've created for them for this weekend. And, you know, talking about those are destiny decisions, guys. That's when you are willing to step outside of normalcy um, and, and normally stepping outside of complacency because so many of us can get so comfortable where we are and we never embrace new atmospheres, um, new environments. Uh, we never go in spaces where we hear different sounds. We hear about po new possibility, and it keeps us in this lull, right? So in our heart, we're wanting something different, but we haven't fully aligned with what's necessary to actually make it happen. So many of the transitions that have happened in my business as I continue to grow were because I saw it done differently, because I stepped outside of my normal routine that may have been working for that level, right? But they weren't working for my next level. So I stepped outside of my normal routine and, and I got in alignment with what next level really looked like. I sold into my future. And one of the things that's super important for me, for those who are attending the retreat, is that they step into new spaces of possibility. It is only when you step into new spaces of possibility that you receive new results in your life and in your business. So in the attempts of wanting something different but not aligning with something different, it's kind of like um, null and void, Good morning, Denise. How are you, dear? It's kind of like null and void. It's like desiring something that you're not willing to go the extra mile for. So I'm so grateful. Um, <clears throat> I've actually just been telling God every single morning, I said, these people are investing their time, their money, their energy, their resources to come and be in a space of new possibility. And I've just been praying about each and every person who's coming and asking God to continue adding, um, you know, imparting divine specific things for their business, their life and their destiny, because we are getting our whole life at the retreat. I do not believe that we should run businesses that are running our lives. I believe that our business is a conduit 
to fund our lifestyle. I believe that God gives us desires on the inside of us that are normally bigger than where we currently are. And where faith steps in is where we agree to align with that next version of ourselves, which usually takes us outside of our comfort zone. So I don't take it lightly for those of you who are investing. I am super prepared. I am bringing all of my, I've been an entrepreneur for over 26 years. So it's how I have um, maintained my family and my household. And, you know, what's so unique about what I just shared about being an entrepreneur for that long or self-employed is that so often we take for granted some of the amazing things that we have and that we've done. I believe that entrepreneurship is one of the bravest things people can do. I believe it's a space where if you are going to be successful, you have no choice but to grow um, because entrepreneurship shows us all of our stuff. <laughs> Would you guys agree? It all comes up during our entrepreneurial journey, whether those are good things or um, different habits that we need to evolve and grow in and master. I believe that entrepreneurial is a ship is actually a tool. Um, I believe that there's a heightened blessing over the growth of those who are entrepreneurs because it requires us. We're not depending on someone else to do it for us. We are in full creation mode. We are in, for those who, you know, wish to continue going to new levels, we are in complete alignment with um, growing our life and, and our business. And I believe that the desires that you have, no matter how big or unrealistic they may seem to you um, for your business and your life, I believe that God put those desires there. I believe he uses it as a tool for us to grow. And as we align fully with it, as we make some sacrifices, uh, entrepreneurship, growing your business and life, is it's not found in the space of normalcy at all. It's not just your everyday, I know I can go to work and I know I can get a check. There's a level of faith that is required for every single new level um, you desire to embark on, you decide you um, decide to give your pers yourself permission to align with. So four things for attracting your perfect people. Um, I work with clients who offer um, premium services and um, oftentimes that comes with premium prices. And when you're wanting to um, operate in that space, then how you show up is super, super important. So four things that help us to attract our perfect people um, and attract premium, you know, clients and pre and offer premium services. One <laughs> is definitely your pricing, guys. It, it's, it's huge. Um, so often because of I believe a mindset that has to be renewed in the mind of the entrepreneur we are we focus on quantity and not quality we focus on quantity and not quality and so oftentimes when we're in that headspace or that that mindset we usually end up doing a whole lot of stuff which doesn't allow us to operate with the spirit of excellence. And so your pricing is, is going to be one of them as far as attracting uh, your perfect people. When you look at your business model and you say, okay, does this really make sense? How many of these people am I going to have to service? Or, you know, how many coaching clients am I going to have to, you know, attract and realistically for my next level? If, you know, oftentimes when we look at, you know, pricing, you have to say, does it make sense? And and I say that literally and figured, figuratively, does it make sense? Um, the next thing, and I briefly me mentioned that, is quality over quantity. And, you know, as much as I love social media, I love uh, the avenue that it allows us to to create. So many of my clients are from all over the world. I actually... 
um, work with a client at the beginning of the year who's from another country. Like the chances of me being able to work with someone from another country in such a, a short time frame of bringing my business um, online would have been that much harder had it been uh, me simply, <clears throat> you know, having my business only locally. So there's so many benefits uh, to social media, but I believe that there needs to be a true focus about what it is that you're building um, and what it is that you want, not only for right now, but for your future. And so, so many people get into the hype of having a lot of followers, but there are a lot of people with tons of followers who are broke on social media. And so um, popular doesn't mean profitable. You have to get clear on what your idea of profitable is. And so many of us, I feel, are depleted in the realm of being affirmed that we sometimes get caught up in the likes on social media and we don't step into spaces of reality recognizing that, you know, those likes don't necessarily mean revenue and profit, which is what you're in business for. And so many people get inundated with that, that even what they share on social media is for likes and not necessarily conversion. So there are so many people who um, do really well, who may not have as many followers. But one of the things I do know to be true is that if you're walking in a space of discernment, <clears throat> you will be able to recognize quality over quantity. You'll be able to recognize it. You'll be able to align with it. And that helps you to eliminate some of the noise <laughs> that you see on social media, some of the need to continuously switch or change or fall back on your true vision for your business because so oftentimes we're watching people who are watching people and they're duplicating people who are duplicating people. And so it's just a row of people who are focused on quantity and not quality. So if you're looking to attract your perfect people, quality has to become a staple for you. Quality has to become a staple for you. Um, next, Attracting your perfect people. Of course, it's going to require something from you. So attracting your perfect people is not necessarily about you having um, hype as much as you have substance. And so one of the things I, I help my clients to do is figure out what's that thing that they're good at or that thing that God has really placed on the inside of them. And then we work on mastering that particular thing. Um, so your mastery of your skill set and your mastery of running the business is going to be super, super important when you're wanting to attract your perfect people because people who are going to pay you premium prices are looking for a certain experience, right? And you have to know that this is why it's so important to be clear about who your perfect people are because um, that particular target market, for instance, one of the things I understand clearly is that many of my clients are already at a level of success, meaning they're super, super busy. And so when I create and design <clears throat> my programs and my coaching opportunities, I keep that in mind. So you know, their desire for next level for their business isn't necessarily tactics. They don't even have the time in their life to um, do some of that busy stuff. You know, most of them are coming to me to be able to find ways to eliminate the busyness so that they can really operate in the things that they're great at and their superpowers. So they're looking for systems that help them to eliminate the busy stuff. And so you have to know who your perfect people are and what space they are at in their life and their business because it's going to make a difference in whether or not they are attracted to the services that you offer. And whenever you're ready to step into 
uh, your next level, become the next version of yourself, you're well on your way to attracting your perfect people. It's very much about you being willing to become the next version of yourself. Uh, one of my courses is called um, 3D Success uh, Mentorship and Branding. It was a boot camp before that is being tweaked and changed for 2020 and offered in a different perspective. But um, 3D stands for Destiny Dollars and Discipline and discipline. And so that leads to my fourth thing that mm -hmm. helps you, you know, operate from, um, helps mm -hmm. you to attract mm -hmm. your perfect people. And that is a spirit of excellence. Now, hey, Sharon, darling, how are you? Now, when some people hear excellence, it, you know, they get a level of fear because, you know, they may say things like, well, nobody's perfect, but excellence isn't the same as perfection. It's just not, none of us can operate in perfection. Um, excellence is when you have decided that every single thing that you do, you're going to do it to the full. You're going to do it to the best of your ability. And then you've also uh, adapted a mindset that you will continue to improve the best of your ability. And one of the things that happens when you step into that particular space of agreeing and aligning with operating with a spirit of excellence is that you have to start eliminating things. You have to start simplifying your life, your business, your processes, and what you yourself are responsible to. And this is where people step into new levels and they get help right? Because it's unrealistic to think that we can do it all. But when you're operating with a spirit of excellence, it really helps you to simplify your life because we can't do 50 things really, really well. <laughs> I can't, I don't know, maybe somebody that comes on is able to. But um, the more that you grow your business, the more your business actually becomes simplified. Your processes become more and more simple, more and more clear, more and more defined. And so operating with a spirit of excellence requires you to master some things and then move to new areas or new realms in your business. So I was on my back patio and I was thinking, <laughs> um, just thinking about a few things. And one of the things that uh, I see a lot on uh, in the conversations and posts and social media is, you know, people talking about the quality of customers that they have and our assignment, our goal, um, our job in that is to attract our perfect people, the people that we really desire to attract. And much of that is about us. Much, much of that is about us aligning with the next version of ourselves. Um, and, and a lot of people um, stay in a space of complacency because of their belief. It all, every single part of whatever is going on is because of the level at which we're believing. So if we believe that we can attract quality people without becoming a higher version of ourselves, without operating, you know, in a spirit of excellence, if that's what we believe, then that is, you know, why we get the results that we do. And so it's important to me that I help the leaders who I work with because I attract leaders um, I help them to step into the highest version of themselves. And so many people run from, you know, developing the habits that will actually take them there because in their mind they hear more. But actually stepping into to that space simplifies your life because you begin um, operating in the spirit of mastery. So uh, four things, attracting your perfect people, mastering your skill set, your ability to serve people, um, in whatever role it is, if you're operating as a leader and you have a team, um, your your leadership, you know, mastering your leadership is huge. Um, that may be the skill set that you need to work on. We're definitely going to be talking about leadership at our um, retreat and being able to embrace uh, new levels of leadership without it feeling hard. I believe there should be a grace uh, in your business. And as you begin to align with your, your next level, your a higher version of yourself, like really committing to what growing and evolving in your business looks like, um, there's an ease 
and a flow that that actually comes with that. So um, mastering your your skill set if you're actually still servicing a client, um, that and mastering business because we're doing business, right? And um, so many people are inundated with providing a service to customers that they don't step into the space of. Um, mastering their their business and one of the things about mastering your business is your systems and you know getting better at your your brand message so that you're attracting your perfect people becoming the next version of yourself that can attract the people at that next level so mastery of your skill set and business um, shifting to a mindset of quality over quantity guys I, I can't tell you enough. If you can make that shift, it's going to change every area of your life. It's like um, it's like going to stores and buying a whole lot of things that don't last when, you know, you could buy something of quality. You'll spend more, right? It'll cost you more out of your pocket, you know, mentally, but it will last you longer. So when you are focusing on quality over quantity you're actually in a space of longevity you're thinking value you're you're thinking long term and those are mindset shifts that have to be made when you're wanting to take your business to the next level attract your perfect people or premium clients um, and then remembering that you also have to offer premium services right it's part of the um, equation and so your pricing is going to make a difference in uh, the people that your brand attracts. And so I'm going to be going into, uh, yes, better versus more. Absolutely. I'm going to be deep diving individually with what that looks like for my guests who come to uh, the retreat. And I'm super excited because um, several of my mastermind members are attending. And so I have a private day with them before the retreat um, even starts. And so I have some special things that um, I'm going to be sharing with them that will change uh, their business for 2019 and, and 2020. So I'm excited about what's to come. For those of you who are still sitting on the fence, just remember that destiny decisions always require you to step outside of spaces of normalcy and complacency. It will require you to stretch and do something different. And for many of you, this may be a destiny decision. You you may have to switch, change, tweak some things around in order for it to go down. But as of now, you can just simply, it's, it's a decision. You just make a decision. You click the link, www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com, www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com. Dot com. Your next level will always require you to step outside of normalcy and it will also it will always require you to sow to where it is that you want to go. If it's not requiring you to stretch then it's probably not something that's going to get you to your next level. If it's like super super easy um and easy isn't always an exchange of money because, you know, sometimes the money is already there. It's just making the decision, getting out of the comfort zone, um, shifting uh, things around. But I'm looking forward to those of you who are already assigned to to be there. And for those of you who had been sitting on the fence and you said, OK, today's the day I'm. I need to be in that space. Uh, many of you need a new environment, a new atmosphere a new sound and um, new exposure. And that's what's going to go down at the Leadership Growth Retreat. I look forward to seeing you guys replay the video if you need to, to listen to four ways I gave you for attracting your perfect people and have a super awesome day. Um, you're welcome, Denise. Peace.